Good morning students. My name is Mohit and I am a mathematics teacher in Mount Litter Z School, Chhasi. This is part 2 of chapter fractions. In the previous video, I have already told you about what is fractions and how many types of fractions are there. Now, today's topic is what is equivalent fractions. So, let's get started. When we multiply or divide the numerator and denominator with the same number, we get equivalent fractions. For example, if I say 2 by 3 is a fraction and write its two equivalent fractions. Here I write three equivalent fractions, it's okay. So like 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3. What we will do? To convert, uh, to take out its equivalent fraction, we will multiply the numerator and denominator with the same numbers each time. Like 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, you can multiply by 5 by 5 or you can multiply by 6 by 6 by any number. So, we will get 2 by 2 means 4, 3 into 2, that is 6. So, 4 by 6 is first equivalent fractions. Now, 3 by 3. So, 3 multiply by 3, it is 9 and 2 multiply by 3, it is 6. So, 2 into 3, 6 and 3 into 3, 9. Now, 2 into 4, 8 and 3 into 4, 12. So, this is how we will get the equivalent fractions. Now, let's take example number second. The, the second example is like 27 by 81. Right? It's two equivalent fractions. So, what will I do? Either I can divide by 3 or 9 or by directly 27. It's your choice by how, by which number you multiply now for example 27 by 81 if i divide the number by 3 because it comes in a table of 3 because it, it it can be divisible by 3 so what will i do 3 9 the 27 and 3 27 the 81 when will i when, when we will divide 81 by 3 we will get 27 so this is how we get first fraction by dividing now we can divide this number by 9 also like 9 and 9 so 27 divided by 9 that is 3 and 81 divided by 9 that is 9 so this is how we get the second equivalent fraction i hope you understand now note that is this is very important by dividing a fraction with the hcf of both numerator and denominator means when we divide the fraction both numerator and denominator by its hcf we will get its simplest or its lowest form or term for example if i say 64 by 320 and they ask to convert it into its lowest or its simplest form so what we will do either we can split it by its factors or we can directly divide by its hcf so what will i do here i divided by its hcf so how to take out hcf like here 64 so what we will do we will take out its factors by lcm like prime factorization method as is 232 the 64 2 16 the 2 8 the 2 4 the 2 2 the and 2 1 the so like this we will take factors by lowest uh, we will take factors by lcm method of 320 also so here we will get this factors so what we will I, uh, what will i do I will write it factors in this form then take out the common numbers like this 2 and this 2 is common this 2 common so we will take out the common numbers and we will take out its HCF by multiplying this common numbers this you have been already read in class 5th so the HCF is 64 so what will I do this is the HCF we will divide the both number by its HCF that is 64 so it will be 1 and this will be 5 so 1 by 5 is its simplest form i hope you understand it now let's come to the next topic fractions on the number line how to represent a fraction on a number line first to represent a proper fraction and to represent an improper fraction so now what we will do in the first part represent a proper fraction for example if i take 1 by 5 i have to convert this on number line so what will i do you know that this 1 by 5 
it is lying between because this 1 by 5 is greater than 0 and it will come in decimal so it will be less than 1 it should be because 1 by 5 means 0 0.2 1 by 5 means 0 0.2 Now, what will I do? Because this number is lying between 0 and 1, so I will mark 0 and 1 on the number line, on the number, on the line. So now, what will I do? Just simply, I can write 0, that is 0 by 5. Basically, what we should do that if a number is 1 by 5 and it is lying between 0 to 1, it means that you should divide the line into 5 equal parts. Because denominator shows its parts, its total parts like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these gaps are representing the gaps, the 5 gaps. So what will I do? 0 can be written as 0 by 5, then 1 by 5, then 2 by 5, then 3 by 5, then 4 by 5 and then 5 by 5 can be written as 1 as you had already read about uh, unit fractions. If the numerator and denominator are same, the fraction will become 1. It means it is unit fraction. So like this we can do it. So if we want to take out 1 by 5 on the number line, this will be our answer. Now let us take another example like 2 by 3. We have to convert it. So 2 by 3 is lying between 0 to 1 again. So 0 to 1, we will divide the number line into 3 equal parts. So this is 0 by 0 can be written 0 by 3. This is 1 by 3, this is 2 by 3 and this is 3 by 3 that is 1. So 2 by 3 is our required answer. Now let us take another example of improper fraction like 4 by 3. So first we need to convert it into mixed fraction like 1 whole 1 by 3. Now you know that this 1 whole 1 by 3 we can be written as 1 plus 1 by 3 because it is greater than 1. It means that this number is greater than 1 so it should be lying between 1 and 2. So we will make a line marking from 1 to 2. What we will do now we will convert this number line this improper this proper part into 3 equal halves because, because it is 1 by 3 so 1 2 and 3. So between 1 and 2 we will divide this number line into 3 equal parts 1, 2, 3. So this is 1. Now this is 3 by 3 can be written as 3 by 3 because it is 3 parts. So 3 by 3, 4 by 3, 5 by 3 and 6 by 3 and 6 by 3 can be written as 2. So it is 2. So our required answer is 4 by 3 that is 1 whole 1 by 3. So I hope you understand it very carefully. All the best.